It's October. It's time to do the studio tour for 2024. I know I used to do these in January and I might do a mini one January just to kind of reset the clock, but let's go through and show you what's in the studio for this year. As we come down the stairs into the studio, first we see these hard drives I got off Facebook. These are 16 terabytes I picked up in total. I built this server just to house them because I had the case, but I haven't hooked it all up yet. So that's coming soon. On Amazon Prime Day, I did pick up two 2.5 gig switches. I need to put these into the network. I like these because these are managed switches. So hopefully we'll get around to that. The table is still just the production graveyard. Now, as we come in here, we can see I've got toolboxes and you'll see a whole bunch of cables and totes. Well, this is because I did a whole bunch of renovations to the office over July. And this is just what came out of the office. As you can see here, some old remnants. And coming up to the bar, I got a new 3D printer. I got the Anycubic Cobra 2 Pro. This was great for about three weeks until it decided to die. The company did send me a new hot end, which is what's causing the problem, but I haven't got the time to install it yet. Coming over to the bar, the 6K camera, which has still never been used, despite costing $2,100. Now, let's go over to the office and show you what I did. Coming into the office, you guys will see there has been a lot of changes for this year. Looking around, you can see that I got new light fixtures. The shelving is now all green, which is great. But look around and you'll see that there's a lot less of everything than there used to be. Coming over here, you can see that there's no more mixers, no more interfaces, because I've got better ways to route audio now. I've also expanded the shelf over to six feet long. You can see I've got the wood paneling. Instead of being one board is now a number of boards going all the way down. Got new power bricks too. These are really nice and tidy. Tools are still up top here, we're working on that. But if you look down, these are the old 27 4K monitors I've had since 2018. And you're thinking, well, if those are them, then what do you have now? Well, as we pan over, you can see, we're gonna have to put you guys at 0.5 for this one. You guys can see that, well, a lot of big changes happened. I stained a whole bunch of wood and I made them go all the way from top to bottom. I did the same with these giant eight foot planks over here. And then I upgraded the monitors to 32 inch 4K displays. So now all the wiring runs up and behind. So the microphones you can see here, they all run up and over. I got 20 foot TRS cables running from the 2i2 interface all the way over to this mixer over here. These are now all spares, where they used to have a purpose, now they don't. So I'll f have to figure out what to do with these. I've also got spare interfaces. I have three audio compressors and two are actually dead, like totally dead. So they're in the shop right now for repair when I'm filming this. So I'm on my third one right now. Up top on the shelving now that you see I added here, I've got my GoPro 10, brand new sealed in the box. And then I've also got my old GoPros here. Don't really use the GoPros anymore just because, well, I just don't have a need for them. Some other changes I made, I put this wall jack in so now I don't have cables running out from behind the jack. We trimmed everything, we punched it all in. This is a Cat 8 cable that now runs all the way over to the Raspberry Pis, which I built a little stand. Look how cute that is. It's so tiny, but I built that myself. And the biggest addition amongst everything that I did, and by the way, this stain is mahogany, uh, this stain is cherry. But the biggest addition I made was this rail system I created. This was not available on the market, so I had to build it my damn self. But yeah, I built this entire monitor sliding system so you can upgrade and downgrade monitors and always have them be in line with each other. You can see that it had to come very far off. This came off seven inches from the wall. So it was a lot, and I definitely underestimated the strength of plywood because these 32s are heavy, but they're not heavy enough that they're bending the way I thought they would. Other than that, the only other dish, the only other things I still have are this Canon T7i, and I moved the speakers up to the top from the bottom, which is a big help when I'm moving the table around. And that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this office tour for 2024. I made a lot of changes, as you can see. A lot of hard work went in. This ate up the whole of July and a little bit into August. I'm still cleaning up, as you saw from the main room, uh, all the cabling. Some of that might just have to go in the trash or to Goodwill. But yeah, a lot of changes have been made. 
A lot of upgrades. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. So if you like this office door, hey, why not hit the sub button? Why not hit the like? Leave a comment and I'll see all of you on the next video. Bye.